business sectors and their environments. So with business sectors and their environments, you will be required to identify the micro, the market, and the macro environment in each of the following business sectors. And in this particular example, we are going to look at the primary sector and we are going to use the dairy farm. So we are going to use the dairy farm and we are going to place it in the three different environments. We're going to place the, um, the farm in the dairy farm, in the micro, in, the, in the, uh, um, the market, as well as the macro environments and see the elements and the descriptions thereof. So with regarding the dairy farm, if we look at the micro environment, the elements of the micro environment are as follows. It's the vision, the mission, the goals, the objectives, as well as the workforce. And what we must remember is that management has full control over the elements, full control over the micro environment. And so the description of the micro environment would be that, and this is in particular with regarding to the dairy farm, is that they would provide uh, milk, um, they would manage uh, the workers, this is in the micro environment, and in the micro environment, the manager can choose the workers whom he, choose, whom he would or, or she would like to employ. Um, but we must remember that there are certain rules or laws that needs to be upheld, <clears throat> even though he may choose whom he wants to employ. So that has got to do with the micro environment. And we know that management has full control over the micro environment. And they can decide on what the vision and the mission is of the farm and what the goals and objectives are, and they may choose the workers. Moving on. So with regards to the market of the primary sector in the dairy farm, they would be looking at the elements such as the suppliers, the consumers, the competitors, and the intermediaries. So who has control over the market environment? Does business have full control? No. They have no control. The management of the business has no control, but they can influence. They have influence. Those are the suppliers of the farming equipment and the feed is a description of the market environment. So they have a, a choice as to who the suppliers are. Some suppliers are from the primary sector, and this would be particularly getting the fodder. Um, some suppliers are from the secondary sector, and that would be uh, electricity, for example. And then in the tertiary sector, we would be getting the, the transport. Who would be, de who would be um, delivering or who they would choose as the supplier for the transport? When we're going to identify the macro environment, we are going to use the same example of the dairy farm. In the macro environment, we know that management has no control over the macro environment. And what are the elements of the macro environment? It's political, environmental elements, social, technological, legal, as well as economical. And the description in particular has got to do with um, management may employ um, or use technology to improve the efficiency. They may also use new invention, inventions that can cause inventions to become, uh, old inventions to become obsolete. So we know that with particular, with regarding the inventions and the technology, it's constantly changing. And so what the farmer has used at one particular stage or one particular year, the following year with technology improving, they might be using a different technology in order to get things done quicker, better, faster. And so productivity would increase as well. But they have no control over technology. Legislation also affects um, the business. And we know uh, that um, management has no control over um, the laws that is passed in the country. And so any legislation that comes about 
all, many, all of management, all of businesses, all enterprises, they need to comply with the laws, even though they cannot predict, and they cannot preempt, but when it does come about, they need to follow suit. Now we are going to look at the microenvironment in the secondary sector and hence again the dairy farm. What is the elements? It is the vision, the mission, the goals, the objectives as well as the workforce. And a description of that is of the microenvironment is that they would provide dairy products to consumers. This is in the secondary sector, remember, providing a, they are going to manufacture. So they provide dairy products to consumers. Um, they would maintain productivity as well as profitability. They could choose people for employment but must comply with legislat uh, legislative requirements, which is exactly the same as in the primary sector. So we know that they may choose who they want, but they need to comply with the legislative requirements. In the market environment of the secondary sector, we are also going to be looking at the dairy farm. Same example throughout learners. The environment, the market environment, the elements are the suppliers, the consumers, the competitors as well as the intermediaries. A description of this particular um, environment would be that the supplier is from the primary sector, which would be the milk that we, we, that we receive from the primary sector. Um, suppliers from tertiary sector, which is transport, and transport is part of the tertiary sector because it is a service that is being rendered. Another description is the clients or the retailers from the tertiary sector. I'm going to move on. We are going to now move to the macro environment of the secondary sector of the dairy farm. The elements thereof is political, environmental, social, technological, legal and economical. <clears throat> the description uses technology in manufacturing and transformation process. In terms of the legislation, affects the business. And we also know that they can adopt or adapt to the challenges in the macro environment by forming power relationships and strategic alliances. So learners, we know that in the macro environment, the owner has no control over the legislation, but he must comply. And we also know that in terms of technology, they have no control, but they also need to comply. So there's no influence that management can have over the macro environment. They have zero control over this particular environment. So now we're going to be stepping off from the secondary sector of the dairy farm and we are going to be moving off to the tertiary sector. Absolutely. So that we know that this is the final sector. We moved from the primary, we went to the secondary and now we're going to the tertiary sector. You will note that the element remains the same. Even though the sectors are changing, the elements remain the same and we are now going to be looking at the micro environment of the tertiary sector of the dairy farm. So the elements of the micro environment would be the vision, the mission, the goals, objectives as well as the workforce. We know in particular with regarding the description of the micro environment that the vision and the mission is determined by the business, by the company, or by management. They may choose who they want to employ as long as they comply with labour legislation. Retailers such as Checkers for example or Pick and Pay or ShopRite aims to create a wonderful shopping environment and offer a wide range of quality products. So what do you think would that be? That could be particularly a goal or an objective of the micro environment in the tertiary sector. Moving on to the market environment of the tertiary sector of the dairy farm, elements remain the same. So what are the elements? The elements are the suppliers, the consumers, the competitors as well as the intermediaries. The description of this is 
that the suppliers from the secondary sector of the dairy farm and tertiary sector which is the shop fitting they may choose who they would want as the suppliers they have an influence moving on to the macro environment the macro environment of the tertiary sector the elements remain the same it's the elements would be the political the environmental the social the technological the legal and the economical <clears throat> a description of this would be that they can use technology to advertise online Give me an example of how people advertise online. Can you think of examples of how people advertise online? <clears throat> they may choose who they want to employ as long as they comply with legislation. And so this would be um, choosing who they want to employ in terms of management. This could happen in all sectors. They can adapt to challenges in the macro environment by forming power relationships and strategic alliances. You will see that they can adapt but they cannot change what has happened and they have no control of what is happening um, in the macro environment. Thank you so much.